Now to take this further, we are being joined by Jonah Blank from Washington, D.C. He is the former foreign policy advisor to President Joe Biden and also a senior journalist and author. Mr. Blank, thank you so much for joining us here on Vyond. We have been seeing recurring protests across the United States uh, who have been calling Joe Biden, the U.S. president, complicit in the alleged genocide that's taking place in the West Bank. I want to ask you, while we see these protests, how much of this can we see actually having an impact on the November ballot? Well, thank you for having me. This is a very important question, and you're absolutely right. Uh, these protests are a very significant movement. This is not just a surface manifestation. This shows a deep alienation among some key groups that President Biden will have to regain the trust of in order to succeed in November. These include not just Muslim and Arab voters, but also young voters, progressive voters, people of color, and really anyone who is concerned about human rights in U.S. foreign policy. Right. Mr. Blank, some also might also uh, argue that Joe Biden is at the behest of this because he's the incumbent president right now. Because what choice do the voters have? Even if it's Donald Trump or any other Republican who comes to power, the foreign policy of the United States has been pro-Israel for a long time now. So what choice do the voters have is my central question. And that's a very good question because even if uh, you object to uh, President Biden's policy in Israel and Gaza, uh, Donald Trump is unquestionably far more hostile to Palestinian interests and far more supportive of the very furthest right wing in the Israeli uh, political spectrum than Joe Biden is. Uh, that's been proven uh, in the past, and it will definitely be even more so the case if he were to return to power. So the question is not really so much, will those who are dis disillusioned with President Biden on the issue of Gaza vote for Trump? It's will they simply stay home or perhaps vote for a third party candidate, which achieves the same thing? Absolutely, Mr. Blank, you, you point to an important point there. Uh, before I let you go, how much of a say when it comes to elections do the Arab and Muslim voters in the United States have? Well, they're not typically uh, one of the most um, high profile swing groups, but they are disproportionately strong in states that will determine the election. Michigan, the most important of these, but also uh, potentially including Pennsylvania, Georgia, Wisconsin, uh, even Arizona. And because all of these states have uh, determined the elections of both 2016 and 2020 by such incredibly narrow margins, even a smallish group can have uh, a determinative impact on the election. All right, Mr. Blank, thank you so much for joining us here on Vyond and getting us all your insights. Thank you for having me. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.